Okay guys, so we're going to cut our fabric. Uh, we've laid it out and just to make sure we're starting out with a nice clean edge, I've got the ruler laying on top there lined up. going to use the rotary cutter and cut off just a little strip. That way I know I'm starting with a nice clean edge. Alright, and then we're going to line it up. And as I mentioned in the, the video before, this grid is in one inch squares. And um, you can cut it as, as uh, big or small as you want. I started to go with a three inch um, strip, but then I decided to go with four. So you just line it up, bottom and top, so you know you're getting a nice straight cut. And... Um, just use your rotary cutter. It's much faster than trying to mark it off and use scissors. So once you get all of the strips cut, um, you're going to do that to both pieces on the top. You know, your solid and your pattern piece. So uh, just lay those aside and I'm not going to make you watch me cut a bunch of strips. So we'll come back in just a moment. Hey guys, so what we're doing now is sewing our strips together. Um, I can't really answer any questions you might have about your sewing machine. If you have any questions at all about how to thread it or um, anything at all, you're really going to need to refer to your owner's manual, okay? Um, but most machines have a, your uh, markings here on this little plate. We're going to use the one quarter inch seam marking. And uh, we just put our pieces, to, two strips together, a solid and a pattern strip. I've been sewing a long time, so I didn't uh, need to pin it. However, if you don't feel comfortable um, putting these together and sewing your seam, then just add some pins down the entire length of the strips to hold them together for you. Okay, but we're literally just making straight seams all the way down the strips. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to it here. Okay, so once we have a stack of these sewn together, we're going to snip them apart. Um, I sew continuously, so I have to go through and cut mine apart. If you if you did it, that's okay. But if you did, you just go through and snip them apart. Once we get them snipped apart, then we're going to attach all of these together. Same scenario. You're going to open up two of them. Okay, so we've got these sewn together like this right now. I'm opening up a second one. And we're going to lay it right on top, right sides together, so that we're still sewing a pattern to a solid.
Okay guys, now that we have our strips sewn together, we're going to come back to our cutting mat. Now I'm going to fold this so that it fits better on the mat. And we want to come over to the edge just like when we first cut the material. We want to get rid of these um, raw edges and make sure that we're starting out with a nice straight edge. Okay, so pull that over. You line it up down here too. Use those grids so that you know you're starting out straight at the bottom. And then that, that will help you with the rest of it. Now you can also, if you're new to this, this is the time you might want to iron all of this so that it's laying, that you know it's laying flat. Um, you want to come over here to the very edge, line it up at the top and the bottom, grab the rotary cutter, And pull that away. Now we're going to continue to cut four inch strips just like when we first laid out our material. That's going to give us squares. Okay, and I'm not going to make you watch me cut all of these. This is what we're going for. Okay guys, so we've got it all sewn together. Now I did want to show you, let me find a couple of places. Okay, right here. I'm not sure if it's going to show up or not on the camera, but right here the corners don't meet exact. It's like a, about an eighth of an inch off. I used to freak out about that. And mom told me, don't worry, on the finished product, it's not a big deal. And she's right, it's not. So if you're not, if you have little places like that, don't worry. Now I did something a little different to my quilt. I didn't want to show you. I didn't want to overwhelm you with different things that you can do. So what I did, let's give you a scenario of maybe you were making a memory quilt and you didn't quite have enough material to finish. It wasn't as big as you wanted it to be. What you can do is um, put a band around it. Okay, so like this. Take a solid color and go all the way around it. Um, I just did the same size all the way around this one, but at the top of the quilt, you could actually make it bigger if you wanted, just to show the top of the quilt versus the smaller band on the other sides. All right, so anyway, just wanted to show you those two things, but I didn't want you to have to cut extra material and put a band around yours. I just wanted to show you an option that you could do. Another option that you could do would be instead of sewing all of these together in a checkerboard pattern, maybe every other one you just put a, a sash down it. So you would have 
um, you know, solid pattern, solid pattern, and then a strip that was solid all the way down. And then, you know, like that. You can really play with it and make it your own. You could also do nine squares. Let me grab another piece of material here. Okay, so a nine square would be like this. Where you just had these in a tic-tac-toe um, pattern. And then you sew, sew a band around it. And you do the same thing over here. So you would have a, a, a series of nine, nine squares, nine patch. You could do it in fours. Those four and put a band around it. And then four and a band, you know, like that. So a lot of variations, but the basic checkerboard I think is gorgeous. That's why I wanted you to start off with it and because it is so simple. Now, if you are like me and you've been given a ton of pre-cut squares, that's okay too. You can always sew the squares together. This is just a quicker way to do it. Okay, so now what we want to do is stack our materials. Okay guys, so we are ready to pin together now. I just wanted to show you, I've got the fabric that's going to be the bottom of the quilt. The right side is facing down on the table, so I've got the raw side in the middle. Then you're going to take your batting and unfold it. Lay it right over it. And then you're going to put the quilt top down on top of that. Just like this. Okay, this is going to have the right side up, right side down on the bottom piece so that once this is quilted together, everything is exactly where it needs to be. So we're going to grab our pins. If you've never seen these, they're just large safety pins. They're in the quilting section at Walmart. You can get these really large ones. Um, there's some a little smaller that have a crook in them. Those are okay too. And you are literally going to pin all three layers together. And you'll just want to pin pretty close together. You know, scatter them out, but make them pretty close so that it's a good tight pin. Okay? I'm going to have to do this off camera. There's not enough room here at the table. But we're almost done, guys. <laughs> 